All right, so what I've been doing this afternoon slash evening is working on um, the save system again. Uh, I was getting it so that if a user creates a new save, like when they start a game, if the save doesn't exist, it will create a save uh, when that happens. So if I were to rerun the game, so now, now it should give me the loading, yeah, this thing. So instead of just prompting you right back in, it loads the game up. Um, so I did that. Uh, and then I started working on allowing for a delete function, which is still currently in a pretty early stage, but I deleted, it didn't print something, and then it just printed a no file here because it is letting me know that it removed the file from the save folder. All right, what's up guys? I just got finished with the lantern functionality. So if I start the game, oh, I also did change the menu. Make sure it's just full screen. It. Okay, so uh, if I go into here now, it kind of has more of an animation um, and it has a shadow. So now instead of, I, I got some feedback from a friend or from two people actually, and they said that it was a little confusing why there was a question mark there that could they thought that it might mean unlocks and they were like just to be safe i think your best bet is to make it a little bit more obvious that it would be a new game um and then the floating question mark is kind of just like a homage to like like who could this be and of course if you play the game you know it's gonna be garen or jaren um but if i start the game you can see now that i have a little light and it's a lot darker in the room um so if i go to equip the lantern which is currently in that chest there but that's already opened um i can hold my ability uh my usability key which is right click and it takes from stamina and gets to a certain size and then once it gets to a certain size it uh, stays there and uh you you get it you keep it for three seconds right now and then once the three seconds are up it will start shrinking it back down to normal. So it's kind of a trade-off. So you can either use your invulnerability frames with your for your stamina to dodge a player or enemy attack, or you can use it to expand your light. Or you can do both and only get a little bit of light and a dodge. So it's kind of like a trade-off thing. Um, the lantern is gonna be the first item you get in the game. I know that. Um, next coming with the bombs and uh, the lantern's main use for what I know right now is literally just gonna be like a um, a tool to help the player be able to see in these darker areas. So they don't have to go wandering around the dark areas. There won't be as many fires. Um, they instead will use the light to help guide them um, just to make the, the sewers, which is what this area is gonna be a little bit easier. But that is it for me. I'm probably gonna uh, play some games and then head to bed uh, and I will, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, honestly. Um, I'll probably start working on level design for the sewers and see what I can get done there. So thank you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Alrighty. What's up everyone. Uh, today is Sunday and, uh, I just got finished with the death menu. Um, if I start the game and yeah, let's pop this game actually. Let's just pop it into full screen real quick and then go this go over to a slime and just get our ass beats and after a few seconds it brings us into the death menu and we have two men uh two options here main menu and quit if we get quit it would just exit out the game and if i hit main menu it brings me back to here and it will uh, bring us back to here. So one thing that I'm still unsure of if I want to do is auto save it when a player dies So right before he dies we run a save function or if it should be more punishing that you didn't save so you go back to wherever you uh, save last so I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet But the main functionality is in there um, I still have to make the decision on which one I want to do but so far this week has been pretty good for uh, uh, for productivity so we got the lantern done and then we finished the death 
uh, death scene. So the gameplay loop is now finished. Now a lot of it is just getting the sprites, uh, redoing the sprites for the for the um, sewer, which is what this is going to be. Getting that all finished and then uh, starting the overworld uh, uh, sprites. So that'll be my next goal over the next few days is getting that done. So I will talk to you guys then. Hey guys, welcome to the last update for the second devlog of Three Heroes. This week, we have finished quite a bit of stuff I am really happy with. Uh, to recap, we did the main menu in the save and load system. Finished those off, pretty happy with how that turned out. Finished the sprite, uh, the tile set for the sewer, uh, which I definitely will be doing some touching up, so not finished, but in a place where I'm happy with. Started the level design for the sewer, which I'm pretty happy with how it's going so far. We've got three rooms done. And then uh, we did some sprite work. We actually did the bat, which I think he looks pretty cute. And then did a rat as well, which hard, it's hard to see. Uh, if I can just turn off a bunch of this stuff. Come on, oh, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. So I think he's, I think it's cute. I like the animation. I definitely want to make it so that you can go four directions um, eventually, but for now, I, I'm going to just keep it with the two because it's easier for me to do. Um, other than that, I don't think there's much else that uh, I have done. I am really happy. Oh, we got the lantern functionality in there. Got that completed. Uh, we also... Something I can show you real quick, actually, if I drop a chest in here, hang on. Let me just drop a chest in the world. Boom. Right, let's run this real quick. Boom, delete, yes, sir. So as you, oh, well, there's a rat right there. Uh, as you can see, it's not drawing correctly because it's in the wrong spot, but you see that there is an F being created now when you're in a spot that you can actually interact with. Get out of here. So if I press F, this is going to break the game, but as you can see, it deletes the F. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how that turned out. It doesn't look amazing, but I'm happy with it. It makes it a lot more obvious what you're supposed to press now instead of just being like, oh, hey, you definitely know the button to open a chest or interact with a sign. So I'm happy with how that turned out. Uh, I now have an interact button for anything I need to do. So, um, But other than that, I think that's everything that I've done this week. This next week, I definitely want to get the level design uh, fleshed out for the sewer. Finish the sewer entirely so I can start moving on to the overworld. I think there's going to be about three or four more rooms I got to finish up uh, with the sewer before I am comfortable with moving on to the uh, overworld. And I definitely want to think about having a mini boss at the end of the sewer. I don't know if it's too early yet. I got to think about it. But so far, that is what we're doing. And to give you guys an update on the Trello, how we're doing is uh, this. We got our milestone progress, which uh, milestone two is coming up. And we're getting close to finishing that. And then if we do the demo checklist, if we look into this, we still have quite a bit of time until the dungeon one can be finished. Items for demo, we've already finished both the items. Basic functionality, we got a lot of this done. I still haven't actually updated a lot of this, but, and then the story behind the game, we still got a lot to do there, but we are getting closer to the demo. I'm really happy with how things are going right now. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.